Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun update video. Today, let's talk about some really cool new features within After Effects. Yes, you can trust your eyes. This is what we will create in today's video. Fighting monsters, a shark base scene, this sci-fi hallway in space, in 3D space, as well as this laser slice effect. Hmm, sounds like a lot, but actually all of this is based on the same new features. And be aware that those are at the moment only available in the beta version. But if you open up your Creative Cloud desktop app, you can download it with no extra costs if you have the standard After Effects version. And hey, if you watch till the end, I will show you a sneak preview of my next tutorial, which will be super duper advanced with all the new features you will see and learn today. Let's do this and quickly set up a scene here so we are all on the same page. I have filmed this footage with my smartphone and I have already tracked this with the built-in After Effects tracker. Now let's choose a few points on the floor and before creating a camera and solid, let's click on Set Origin. In that way, that point will be 0, 0, 0 for X, Y and Z. And that will make it super easy to place our 3D files later. Now let's create a solid and the camera. Perfect. We have now a reference for our floor. Time to bring in some 3D assets. And I have this really cool robot from that famous movie where they, where they always like transform into something else. Pacific Rim. And I also found this really nice monster that recently won the visual effects Oscar. King Kong. <laughs> Both of them have a pre-made animation that I can choose in the animation options. And with the floor, I can very easily find the perfect position for them. Nothing new so far. And if I set their Y values to zero, they also align to the floor and I don't have to eyeball it. Okay. Scene and camera are set up, so only thing we are missing is a light. As usual, let's use an environment light, as this is the only one that casts a shadow. And we can use an HDR image to lighten our scene, and of course, I have already downloaded a fitting one, imported it into the composition, and now I can choose it in the light settings. Whew, still nothing new. And hey, voila, it casts a shadow on the floor. But Let's be honest, the floor is a bit distracting, right? And this is our first big new feature. We can set this one to only accept shadows. Ta-da! We have a transparent layer with only shadows. And we also have a fill color for the shadows to match the scene perfectly. And hey, this cannot only be a solid, but you can choose each 3D object and make it a shadow catcher. And I can see so many use cases, also in motion graphics, where a shadow adds an extra spice, but you don't always have a real background to cast shadows onto. But there is more. Let's jump into the next scene. This is a sci-fi hallway with a robot walking to the front. And just to make this a little more interesting, let's also bring in another robot in the front. The scene is looking great. But let's also improve on this with some new features. So I pre comp all of this because now we are able to add 3D effects to compositions that have 3D content. So let's start easy with some 3D fog. You know, maybe there is a fire in our hallway. <clears throat> we can now adjust start and end of our fog and also its visibility. And if that is not advanced enough, let's create a new solid with some fractal noise. So our fog is also more detailed. And yes, you could animate this to flicker and have something really cool. But let's not stop here. What about some depth of field to make this look super realistic? Therefore, let's duplicate our comp and apply the 3D depth extract effect. Because now we can create a depth mat. But what do we do with that? Well. We can use that to drive effects. As mentioned, depth of field. So let's add a camera lens blur and choose our mat we just created as our depth map. And don't forget to choose effects and masks here. 
now we can set this up and have a really nice scene where we could even animate a rack focus. But you can also use the depth mat as a luma mat. If I, for example, add an adjustment layer with some displacement, for example, as a heat distortion, I can now use the map as a luma mat. Now, the further back we are, the more distorted the image is, while as the fire is in the back. Well, and this is some crazy stuff, right? So we use the 3D fog effect for an interactive glow. But let me show you another cool example for depth fog. Underwater scenes. I have this scene already set up. Some cliffs, a sandy beach floor and some animated sharks. Pre-comp this and add the 3D fog to this. Now let's set it up and simply tint this as a dark blue color. Now whatever is close to the camera is visible to the eye and the rest fades out in the deep blue sea. Okay, and one last example what you can do with this. Here I have a 3D room and I can slice through this with the depth mat effect. So now I only see the back. Now let's duplicate this and invert it. And now I can put something in between the two. So let's add a laser green solid behind this. And hey, at the moment we can't see nothing because the slices are exactly splitting everything into matching pieces. So let's feather one of them slightly so we can see it through. And hey, this is a super cool reveal effect. And before I close this off, as promised, a secret preview to what will be next on my channel. So if you want to learn how I did that, with a lot of advanced compositing tips and tricks, as well as a completely new 3D tracking workflow, you should maybe subscribe to this channel to not miss it. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun with the new 3D features in After Effects 